able to build for you. Because God makes himself available for those who seek him. When God is with you, success and prosperity is a guarantee. Before you go to be with the Lord, the Lord needs to be with you. One of these fine days, you will go to be with the Lord. Look at your neighbor. Mambia neighbor. Soon or later, you might go to be with the Lord. But before you go to be with the Lord, make sure while you are still available that the Lord is with you. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. There are several benefits of the Lord being with us. God cannot be with a man and the man has nothing to show. The presence of the Lord in a man as adequate indicators and signs as a proof that God is with that man. Praise be to God. In the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 1 and verse 2 and the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, son of Obed. Verse 2. He went out to meet Asa and said to him, Listen to me, Asa and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you when you are with him. Listen to me, Asa and all Judah. And Benjamin, the Lord is with you when you are with him. God cannot be with a man who is not with him. Ask your neighbor, are you with the Lord? Then the Lord is with you. If you are not with the Lord, then you are alone. And if you are alone, you are prone to the dangers of the devil. I might not mind how you speak to your neighbor. Because if you are self-centered, you may not mind about your neighbor. Those who mind about their neighbor, look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. if the Lord is not with you, then you are alone. And if you are alone, you are likely to be sick. You are likely to be broke. You are likely to be separated. You are likely to be divorced very soon. You will have several problems when you are alone. Praise God. Listen to me. God did not create man to be alone. That's why when Jesus was about to go, he said, I am not going to leave you alone. Neighbor, it is dangerous to be alone. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Asa and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you when you are with him. If you seek him, he will, he will be found by you. Ukimtafuta atapatikana kwa hachiri yako. If you seek him, he will be found by your neighbors. He will be found by your community. He will be found by you.
God is found by those who seek him. It is possible it is only you in your family that is looking for the Lord. You will find him. Why will you find him? Because God makes himself available for those who seek him. It doesn't matter who is not seeking him. If you are looking for him, he will make himself available for you. Mungu atajidhirisha kwa wale wanaomtafuta. Seek him and you find him. Why? He will make himself available for you. Praise God. I am looking for men and women that will be seeking for the Lord diligently this year. They say, God, we are looking for you. We will have something to show that the Lord has been with you. Sit down, please. And it says, the Lord is with you when you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he too will forsake you. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. I want to jump and read verse 9. The Bible says, Then Asa assembled all Judah and Benjamin and the people from Ephraim, Manasseh, Ephraim and Manasseh, these are the sons of Joseph, isn't it? And Simon, who had settled among them for large numbers, for large numbers had come over to him from all Israel when they saw that the Lord is, the Lord is God was with him. What what they were kaona kwamba huyu mtu kweli ako na Mungu. Yaani kama kuna kitu unatafuta kwa hii kanisa, ni watu wale wako pale waone kweli huyu mtu ako na Mungu. Huyu mtu ako na Mungu. Yaani waone wewe uko na Mungu. Wakaangalia wakasema huyu mtu ako na Mungu. Ambia watu wawili inatakiwa uwe na Mungu. Wawili tumwambie inatakiwa uwe na Mungu. Sikia, Biblia inasema watu wakamfuata. Kwa sababu waliona Mungu wa huyo mtu wako na yeye. Watu ni wangapi wamekufuata kwa kuona Mungu wako yuko na wewe? Na kuombea sana watu waanze kukufuata kwa kuona Mungu wako yuko na wewe. Lakini ukumbuke Mungu hata kuwa na mtu ambaye hayuko na yeye. Biblia inasema God can be with the man if the man is with him. If the man is with him. Mungu anataka kuwa na watu ambao wako na yeye. Yeye Yesu Kristo makofi mazuri. Amen. Biblia inasemaje? Wale watu wakakuja kwa wingi they came in big numbers because they saw that his God was with him and they wanted his God but unless his God is with him they cannot come to him. So they came to him because his God was with him. There are many people who talk about their God and their God is not with them. I pray for you that God never forsakes you, that God never abandons you, that your God may be with you. All is well when God is with you. All is well when God is with you. Sit down. In 1st Chronicles chapter 22 and verse 9. 1st Chronicles chapter 22 and verse 9. And I will read also verse number 11. The Bible says, but you will have a son. God is talking to David. In the month of April, we shall be praying for women that require to have children. And I know they will have children. Amen. Amen. But you will have a son who will be a man of peace and rest. Before this child is born, he's already known what he's going to be. Amen. That's why all of you need to be born again. And before you are born again, we can tell you, you're becoming a mighty man of power. And God says, and I will give him rest from all his enemies on every side. 
His name will be Solomon. And I will grant Israel peace and the quiet and, and, and the quietness during his reign. Verse 11. David is now talking to Solomon. Now, my son, the Lord be with you. I bless you. Members of this church, I bless you. May the Lord my God be with you. Ninaomba kwamba Mungu wangu awe Mungu wako kwa jina la Yesu. May my God be with you wherever you will be in the name of Jesus. Now my son, the Lord be with you and may you have success and build the house of the Lord as he said you could. You will complete whatever you start because God is the beginner and the finisher of your faith. May my God be with somebody here this morning in the name of Jesus. Bless you. Sit down. Now my son, the Lord be with you. Let me tell you, when, when God is with you, you enjoy peace and rest. When kina hapa manasumbuka kila usiku, let the Lord be with you and you sleep like a baby. Sleep like a baby. Hey. <laughs> Utakuja kwa mwisho unashindwa. Hey, imefika saa moja. Because when the Lord is with you, anything that is planning to disturb you is already dispersed. Do you hear what I am saying? Then let your hallelujah be louder like thunder. When God is with you, enemies are kept far from you. They are kept far from you. I know you are not without enemies, but I have come to say to you, your enemies shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. And number three, when God is with you, success and prosperity is a guarantee. There's no argument about it. There's no discussion about it. You are face to face with prosperity in the name of Jesus. Say a louder amen. You can get seated. Kabla watu waende kuwa na Mungu, Mungu amejitolea kuwa na watu. Before you go to be with the Lord, God wants to be with you. Hallelujah. There are several men that God was with while they were on earth. And that proves to you that while you are on earth, God can be with you. Can God be with a man? Yes. But it is conditional that a man must also be willing to be with God. What is the meaning of being willing to be with God? It's adjusting your life to suit his requirements. Will you adjust? Say yes again. I want to hear that say yes. Can you adjust? Are you, can God walk with you while condoms are walking with you? Look at your neighbor, stay your neighbor, adjust me, this is a must. God wants to walk with you. In those days, when my, my wife was giving a testimony, in those days we used to sing, and, and you, you sing, while behind your pocket, and inside your pockets, you know what you are carrying. But you are busy. Where? Tara 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 it is not a play. It's a lifestyle. Say amen. Now God can walk with a man. There are men that God walked with. The first man was Enoch. In Genesis chapter 5 and verse 24. And when God walks with a man, something happens. Amen. God never walks with a man and nothing happens. When God begins to walk with a man, something happens. If God is going to begin walking with you, something would happen that will change your life. 
something happens when God walks with a man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read verse 24 of Genesis chapter 5 and the Bible says, Enoch walked with God, then he was no more because God took him. He walked with God. Praise God. So, Enoch walked with God before Enoch went to be with the Lord. Because he walked with God, then later God took him. So before you go to be with the Lord, the Lord wants to have company with you. Hey. There is, unajua kuna kuanga na stories in Andranga Binguni Kutuhusu. One of the most famous stories that was taking place in a meeting, Job was an agenda in a meeting that God called. I want to be an agenda in heaven. <laughs> God called for a meeting. And, and as they were discussing the agenda of Job, the devil showed up to ask for permission. Do you know that a, a man of God, a child of God, can become an agenda in heaven? What do you think heaven is discussing? About election? About impeachment? You think heaven is concerned about impeaching the first president of Kenya? Kenya is too small for heaven, but you are great. The Bible says, whoever takes the word of God and teaches men to do the same is called great in the kingdom. I want to be discussed when God sits with the angels and they are talking about Master Morabe. Ooh, I want heaven to discuss about me. Nataka mbingu isungu muse habari zanku. Nani meo momba mongu kupatikana mamia ya watu kwenye kandahiri. Wataka ushua michadara mikuni. Ah ah. That, that you become a discussion in heaven. The heaven sits down to discuss about you. A man on earth can become an agenda of heaven. Hallelujah. And so God made the decision to be with Enoch. And he said, before Enoch comes to be with us, I want to go down and be with him. So this is a proof that God can be with a man. Hallelujah. Ha. Ah. God walked with Enoch. Praise be to God. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 12. Sit down and write. Are you in a hurry? Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 12. The Bible is talking about Jacob. And, and, and they are explaining about Jacob and they say the Lord alone led him and no foreign God was with him. This is the first man the Bible is explaining. Kwamba alikuwa na mungu na miungu mingine haikupata na fasi kwa maisha yake. That means wakati wanatembea na mungu, his mind was committed to God. The entire body was committed to God. Wakati miungu mingine natafuta kana fasi haikupata. Haikupata. You know, there are people that are with God on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, but Thursday, they are with other gods. And Friday, they are with other gods. And Saturday, they are with God. And Sunday, they are with God. There is no single day when any other God is supposed to have a space in your life. Hello? Monday, who should be with you? God. Tuesday, who should be with you? What about Wednesday? God. And Thursday? God. Friday? And Saturday, what about Sunday? Day and night, 24 7. Who should be our God? Jehovah. God was with Jacob, and no foreign God found place in him. God led him. <laughs> when God leads your mind, even the other demons cannot find room to, make, to take you astray. You are too occupied with God for any demon to find space. And 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 10 is a proof that God can be with a man. 2 Samuel chapter 5 and verse 10. The Bible says, And he became more, more and more powerful. Say more and more powerful. We shall become more and more powerful. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I shall become more and more powerful in the name of Jesus. I shall become more and more powerful in the name of Jesus. 
anybody wants you to become more powerful, say yes! Sit down and listen to this. And he became more and more powerful because the Lord God Almighty was with him. Hallelujah. We are talking about David. <laughs> David became more and more powerful. That's what happens when God is with you. You become more and more powerful. Our church shall become more and more powerful in the name of Jesus. Your name shall become more and more powerful in the name of Jesus. Your business shall become more and more powerful in the name of Jesus. Because God is with you. Glory be to Jesus. Because the Lord was with him. If the Lord wasn't with him, he could become less and less powerful. Or more and more powerless. God is with you. I want God to walk with me. I, I'm asking God that anything that may disturb his presence in my life should be removed. Hallelujah. Anything, whether seen or unseen, in my conscious state or in my unconscious state, I don't want to permit anything that can make God to be away from me. I want God to be with me. Hello? That guarantees you a lot of things. Praise God. And the Bible says, and he became and he became. That means when God is with you, that's a process of becoming. When God is with you, whatever you do becomes great. Whatever you're informed in becomes great. Your relationships become greater and higher. Your businesses are elevated. Your family's name becomes great. I mean, people will speak about what God is doing in your life because there will be clear indicators. They will know that this man is not alone. They will know this woman is not alone. They will know this business is not alone. They will know this is a child of God. The reason they, 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 they will speak your testimony on your behalf. They will say the reason why he's prospering is because the Lord is with him. The reason why he's moving is because the, the reason why he has never fallen sick. God is with him. There is power when God is with you. Hallelujah. I did not come to seminar you. I came to inform you. If God is going to be with you every single day, you are going to be elevated and become more powerful. More powerful. And he became more and more powerful. Because God was with him. Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 1. Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 1. Are you there? Solomon son of David established himself family. <laughs> he established himself family. He was not established by God. He established himself family over his kingdom for the Lord his God was, was with him and he made him exceedingly great. Solomon established himself firmly. Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 1. He established himself firmly. Firmly over his kingdom. You know you can be given dominion and you lose the dominion because you are unable to establish yourself. You can become a king and fail to rule because you fail to establish yourself. And what does, what does the Bible say? He established himself firmly over his kingdom. How did that happen? Because the Lord was with him. You can be given a position of rulership. You can be given a business idea by God. And you fail to execute if God is not with you over the journey. Sulmani akaweza kulinda. Akaweza kumiriki ufarme wake. Komana mungu alikuwa na yeye. God can give you a family and you fail to rule over the family because he's not with you. Mungu anaweza kukupatia hata familia na ukashindwa kuiongoza. Uka unatoa hamri hakuna mtu anafuata. 
Let me tell you, when you give instructions and the Lord is with you, everybody will fall. But if you are alone, you will be, you, you, you will die of stress. Utakufa kwa stress. Maana utasema awafuat. When God raises you in terms of position, even offer an institution, make sure he is with you. That way you will enjoy your leadership. Ninasema hivyo kwa sababu wengi wenu mtainuliwa na Mungu mwaka huu, mtawekwa kwenye mamlaka, utawekwa kwenye biashara na chini yako kutakuwa na watu, mtafungua hoteli kubwa kutakuwa na wafanyikazi. Ukitaka wakutii, jifunze kumtii aliye juu yako, ndio walio chini yako watakutii. Mungu na yani hivi wewe unafikiria kuinuliwa kwa makauni kwa njia gani? Kwenye biashara pale Mungu atakupatia wateja wengi na watakosa kutii neno lako kwa sababu wewe pia hauti neno la aliye juu yako. Ukimtii aliye juu yako walio chini yako wanakutii kwa uraishi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. So Solomon was made exceeding regret. Naona hii these are some of the signs of the people that are with God. They become great. They become more powerful. They become prosperous. If God is with you, we cannot miss something to talk about him. Ah! Hautakutana na Mungu mahali yuko, ukaongea habari za umaskini. Wherever God is, there is prosperity. Wherever God is, people are great. Wherever God is, men are powerful. Wherever God is, the enemies are scattered. We can tell whether God is with you when you explain about the enemies. We can tell when God is with you when we see the indicators. And this year is the year when God is saying, let my people, I want to work with them. Those who are willing, God is ready to work with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts chapter 7 and verse 9. Acts is in the New Testament. The Bible talks about Joseph. Acts chapter 7 and verse 9. The Bible says, because the patriarchs were jealous of Joseph, they sold him as a slave into Egypt, but God was with him. <laughs> hey! Watu walishanka, huyu Yusuf ameuzwa kuja Misri. Inafanyikaje amekuwa mtu mkubwa na mna hii? Wana Biblia inasema walishikwa na wifu, they became jealous. Wakamuuza kwenda Misri. Lakini haimalizia hapo. Inasema but God was with him. What is the meaning of that? Wanaweza kukuchukia, but if God is with you, you will always become what he has said. What is the meaning of that? Wanaweza kupanga wakuue, but God is with you. Wanaweza panga wakueke sumu, but God is with you. Wanaweza panga wakuzusha cheo, but God is with you. Hey, and the people became jealous of Joseph. The brothers, the brothers. There were no sisters. The, of course, there are sisters, but they were not in the plan. The brothers said, we will kill this man. And the Bible says they, they became jealous and sold him to Egypt. But listen to what, what the Bible says. But God was with him. That means <laughs> when, when God is with you, every plan against your life is cut out in the name of Jesus. But God was with kupanga kwamba hiyo ndoa haitaisha lakini God is with you. It will come to pass. Many are the plans of a man, but only the purpose of the Lord shall prevail. What are they planning against you? I don't know. But I have come to tell you, God is with you. You may, you may not understand why you are still moving. Because you don't have the capability to see the plans that are under uh, uh, in darkness. There are many plans against you every single day. There are people saying, Uyu mtu tumodoe hapa, asifanyie kazi hapa. Uyu mtu tumususe hapa. Uyu mtu tafuta njia afuto kazi. Uyu mtu sema hivi na hivi. But God is with you. God is our cover. Aya, aya, aya. Ata wakati unakuenda kulibu wa besa yako. Kuna mtu wanasama, Uyu kona motika. But because God is with you, wanakuwaja kidogo na wale wanarudi tana wanafinya wanakulipa. Because God is with you. I could, 
you could rather take all men but leave me with God. God was with him. God was with him. Hallelujah. L listen, listen. Maybe you didn't understand this. Listen. Because the patriarchs were jealousy of Joseph. Because they were jealous. Not because they loved him. They were jealous. What did they do? Out of their jealousy, they sold him as a slave into Egypt. Full stop. Next sentence. But God was with him. And what did God do? He rescued him from all his troubles. <laughs> Say, God is my rescuer. I will face no trouble. Say amen to what you have said. Listen. Now, what did God do? Now, because God was with him and was ten, he gave Joseph wisdom. Let him give you that. And he enabled him to gain the goodwill of fellow king of Egypt. So he made him ruler over Egypt and all his palace. <laughs> when God is with you, you are assured of your destiny. You are assured of your destiny. They can be jealousy against you, but if God is with you, I have come to assure and reassure you your destiny is sealed in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. The Bible says, Verse 38, are you there? And now God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and the power. And now he went around doing good and healing all over and the power of the devil. Because God was with him. Leo ni kama niko peke yangu waja dhuni cheke. Hallelujah. Let me. Let, let me read this for you once again. Let me read it. How oh, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and the power. And how this, there are two people who are doing the how. Oh, God is doing the anointing and the baptism. And, and, and Jesus is also doing something. The Bible says in verse 38, and how oh, he went around. Who went around? Jesus doing good. Doing good. Now, it is not that he's doing good because he's anointed. I will tell you why he's doing good. And doing good and healing all who are under the power of the devil. Because God was with him. Ah! Because God was with him. When God is with you, the people around you are healed. The people around you are delivered. The people around you receive good things as a sign that God is with you. Na kwa wale mungu watakuwa nanyi, nina watuma wiki hii, watu watakawa wazunguka, wapokea bari nchema, waponywe, wakombolewe, biashara zao siinuke. Let there be a contagious miracle in the name of Jesus. Bana. 